What up, everybody? It's your boy, FDA Music. Just chilling, getting ready uh, for Monday. Got a uh, uh, a movie called The Day with the Devil coming out soon. And I will be shooting uh, in Colorado, Bailey, Colorado, in the mountains. We got a five-acre plot with a cabin. So we'll be finishing up. Uh, basically, what I wanted to discuss today was credit cards, okay? Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of friends, you know, that, that use credit correctly, in which way that is to use the amount that you know that you can afford to pay back every month. That is the only intelligent way or the only way to use a credit card. Now you have people on the other side where they're like, man, I'm broke. I really need credit so I can afford what I, I can, you know, so I can afford my bills. But if you constantly are putting yourself in a risk to uh, default on credit by credit by credit, and you need more loans and loans in order to pay the past uh, uh, debts that you have, that's where you're failing yourself. Uh, I'm going to tell you, stay away from credit cards. If you're trying to build your uh, credit history or uh, credit score so you can be afforded uh, to... Basically, what a credit score is, you're afforded to be able to get into debt more. So you have to be able to handle this debt. Um, you know, you can have an 800 credit score and have a hundred thousand dollar credit line and you were doing so good but then you use that hundred thousand dollar credit line and you're slow to pay that back you know uh it's not good for you um i have a mortgage and i have uh, no credit card debt i stopped that the only credit card i debt i have is 9.95 a month with with discover and i'll maybe use about 50 to 100 dollars a month on gas for my car and that's it um well this year since it's end of the year or beginning of the new year you have to pay taxes i use my credit card for the certain fact that i can get mileage points since i have to fly and travel a lot for certain things that i do um you know that helps a lot but basically what i'm trying to say here guys is is don't rush yourself to uh, increase your your credit line to take on more debt when you cannot afford the debt in the beginning. That's why they call it debt because you can't afford that that debt. So it it compounds, and the credit card companies are getting twenty to fifty percent off of you every month. Now before the two thousand eight crash, it used to be every year. But in order to get the finances back, these percentage rates, they never changed the term annual. But now annual means monthly. It doesn't mean yearly anymore. So that's another thing to look at. Uh, just be smart with your money. Uh, save your money. You don't have to necessarily invest your money in the market or anything. Uh, some people don't have... Uh, the gut for it and I understand it because you have to understand what you're doing before you put yourself in that position <clears throat> that's the biggest lesson I've ever learned in life is to learn about what I'm getting myself into before I get myself into it because when I fail to do that is when I when I fail so but uh you know always had I've always had this ambition in me that when I fail I want to rise again and uh, that's just been non-stop that's the compound of my life is when I fall I come back up and I try to stay there um, but you know sometimes it doesn't work out but thankfully um, you know that's the lesson just stay out of debt don't think credit cards are opportunity to buy more junk that you don't need Use it towards something that will create more income, uh, whatever that may be. All right, it's your boy Fadi, a.k.a. FDA Music, signing out. Peace. Hope you enjoyed it.